everyone, welcome to Monday. I had a very busy weekend packing most of the Kickstarter parcels. I think I've got 19 left as of this morning and I've got a few shop orders there as well. Um, but thank you so, so much. Um, more on the Kickstarter later on in the vlog, but for now I'm gonna go and take all of these to the post office and tick that off my very hefty list. Welcome to Tuesday. I have been, well it's really late in the day, but I have been teaching myself in design today and um, putting a zine together, so I'm very excited for that. So you guys have seen the glittery jelly beans. Um, this one's really cute. You guys have seen the glittery cola bottles as well. And the cherries. And then this one arrived last week. So this one was meant to be glittery, um, but for various reasons it doesn't have glitter in it anymore. And the gummy bear is one that I've had to source a new manufacturer for. I haven't yet ordered them and the campaign is now over, which is why it probably sounds really confusing. But I've done a whole update on my Patreon page just explaining everything. And also my Kickstarter backers obviously know about it, but if you are interested in getting one of these pins and you weren't part of the Kickstarter, um, I've sent most of the Kickstarter parcels out now, but um, I'm keeping some aside for the remaining few. But the rest of these pins will be going um, up for sale on Friday. So if you're interested, they will be going up for sale on Friday when this vlog goes out. They'll be available from 7 o'clock onwards. A British summer time and I have very very limited quantities of these so if you are interested um, that's where they'll be. You guys I have to show you this gift bundle that my friend Leanne has sent me. Leanne is um, over at Literary Diversions if you want to go check her channel out but she sent me these gorgeous handmade look it's custard she makes these out of clay and hand paints them they are such, like, they're just so well made and they came beautifully wrapped, really safe as well. And they obviously haven't got broken. And it's Vespa. Um, she also sent me these gorgeous fluffy ears that I've just been wearing. I'm going to put them back on in a second. And um, some gorgeous little postcards from Paper Chase, which are so cute. I'm going to put those up on my notice board. And, um, yeah, this is where you can find Leanne if you'd like to check her shop out and give her a follow ready for when she launches her Etsy shop. She also um, included one of her art prints. Look at this spooky building. I just love it so much. I love the spooky figure in the window. Oh my goodness. It just makes me so excited for Halloween as well. So she sent me that. And um, this is one of her handmade pin flags. So how perfect is this for all of my pins? I'm going to just spend half an hour or so now just like putting all of my pins onto one of these because I don't have one. Um, and this is the care card that came with it as well that tells you how to care for your pin flag, how to wash it if you need to. And oh my goodness, I'm just so excited. And she makes all of these by hand. Oh my goodness, they're so beautifully made and they feel like really high quality too. So well done Leanne, I cannot wait to like raid your Etsy shop when it's open. I have just been arranging all of my enamel pins <laughs> and you wouldn't believe how happy this has just made me. <laughs> I love this banner so much, I keep calling it a banner, I mean flag. Um, it's such a lovely colour and beautifully made and uh, it just makes the pins all so cute. So I went to my P.O. box earlier and I had a package from Vicky too um, and it also contained a flag so I've put all of my button badges on this one um, I've not quite finished yet but I need to um, fill this one up so thank you Vicky Vicky's box was part of this big gift hamper she sent me look at all of these beautiful washi tapes oh my goodness these are going to keep me going for so long I think is probably my favourite it's got bears on it and it's really really cute and Vicky also hand makes um, she does a lot of resin art so she sent me these beautiful key rings that she's made 
How stunning. And the Alice in Wonderland themed as well. Look at the rabbit. Aren't they pretty? And Lucy from um, Twig Pen People has sent me some of her lovely stuff too. So these are recycled notebooks. I love this character on the front. I think he's adorable. Some of her stickers as well with her designs on and a whole bunch of greeting cards um i love this one so so much so she wrote me one and then she gave me a blank one too aren't they cute <laughs> some of them are really funny as well Look at the pig there's like a wizard in here somewhere which is no doubt my favorite and a dinosaur so cute there he is i love him so much and she makes all of these pens that are personalised. You can have your name engraved. Well, burnt. What's the, um, is it pyrography? Burnt into it. Well done, Alice. What a, what a correct technical term. I joke, I joke. But there's a little paw print on the end as well. It's just so cute. I can't wait to just do some notes with this. It's really comfortable to hold as well. So thank you so much, Lucy. Hello, everyone. It is now Thursday. I have just finished editing my zine. Um which is a new process for me. I don't know much about InDesign, but I'm trying to learn. Um, my mum has been teaching me because she is a graphic designer, so thank you, mother. But I'm hoping by the end of today, I will have been able to send off for my zines to be printed and then they will maybe arrive next week. Who knows? They are gonna be limited as well, so I'm only gonna get 50 each time, I think, but I'm going to number them on the inside and sign them so they are like a very limited edition um, thing. For now, I need to email the remaining backers from my Kickstarter campaign because we do have a few stragglers, um, so I need to get those packed up and sent off, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I'm going to work on some stickers for my Patreon rewards parcels that I will start sending out next week. It's now Saturday. I have an admin day. My favourite. As time has gone on, I used to really like admin. I used to really like doing receipts. Call me crazy. I don't know what I was thinking, but these days I'm like, no. Anyway, today is Saturday and um, I'm filming today because James is at work, so I thought I might as well do a bit of work. Um, I do have a couple more parcels to pack. I'd like to do some drawing and obviously I want to do my admin. So on Thursday I ordered the zines, very exciting, they should be here sometime next week and I ordered a gummy bear pin yesterday from a new manufacturer. Um, I know a lot of you are asking at the moment who are you using, I'm not going to disclose that yet just because I'm trying to find a manufacturer that I'm happy with. So that is why if you have asked in the comments I haven't responded because I just I don't know yet if this new manufacturer is the one that I will use again. So yes the plan for the rest of this vlog is to just do some admin which is boring um, and you guys probably won't want to see that. Just realised I didn't show you um, a couple of bits that turned up yesterday. Look at this beautiful enamel pin that turned up yesterday from Lula Rocks. I just had to order myself one. As always, I'll link it down below if you want to go and check her out. But um, 
can't believe I missed her Kickstarter for these, but as soon as I saw she'd posted them, I was like, I need one of those. It's so pretty, and I've put it on my um, pin flag now that Leanne made and sent for me, but yeah, they're just so cute. I also ordered myself this washi tape. I've had my eye on it now for a couple of weeks, but there you go, you can see it. It's got little copper mushrooms on it, which is just so cute, and it is from Oh Dear and I ordered this greeting card as well because I want to frame it, I just loved the artwork. I went to see if they had a print of this because I'd have liked it a bit bigger but they didn't have one so I just went with the greeting card and I want to frame it. It is by Hello Lucky but you can get them from the Odeer shop too. So I also wanted to show you guys some new art supplies that I got sent this week. So Arteza have been amazing and sent me these so that I can make some more videos for you guys. We're gonna be creating a lot more artwork in the very near future. And these, how stunning is this kit? I can't wait to open it later on this week. It's got 60 different markers in and I haven't actually opened it yet, but if I just pull one out of the side, look how amazing and chunky these are. Oh, they just feel so glorious to hold. So they're double-ended too, so you've got a fine tip. And a chisel tip. And the colour actually features on both ends, so on both ends of the lid, which they just feel so nice to hold. I can't wait to swatch all of these and see what they're like on paper. I also have a selection of paintbrushes. There's 15 different ones in here. And these are going to be amazing for when we get the gouache paints out again, because I realised when I was painting last week with you guys that I didn't have the best variety of paintbrush sizes and I really could have done with some new ones. So thank you, Arteza. We have some fine liners and just look at the colours. I'm going to try and do this without, without dropping them all. Oh, wow. Look at how stunning they are. And there's two trays inside here. So, again, I can't wait to swatch these and do some doodling with them. And a couple of these grey sketchbooks. So, these are going to be amazing for those pencils that we got last week. So, I'm really excited to just have an explore of some more traditional art materials with you and create some cute artwork pieces. So I think now it's the weekend, I'm just going to do some downtime sketching and drawing from this book, which is the Creature Vault Harry Potter book that is a really in-depth, detailed um, collection of all of the magical creatures from Harry Potter and I think I want to draw a Cornish pixie and just use some of their images as references. This is just for fun as well, but the um, illustrations are just absolutely stunning. They're really incredible. I think this is one of my favourites right at the front. But yes, I think I'm going to do a little bit of sketching just to wind down for the rest of the day. And I think actually it would be the perfect opportunity to just give these a go for a bit of rough sketching, which I'm very excited about because I've seen all of the blues in here and if we go to the underneath section, all of these colours. Oh, and I'm feeling all of these blues of... A Cornish pixie like this. Yes, yes, yes. yes. 